welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a two-point perspective cube with part of it that has been kind of carved out. So it's going to look something kind of like this, but we're gonna make it not quite as warped as this one by keeping it above this part of the circle. Um, so one thing, there's kind of like this area, um, like a view, like this is what actually would fit in reality. And once we kind of step out of there, that's when it starts to look not real. And so that's kind of what happened here. I mean, it still looks cool and it looks like two point perspective, but if you want it to look a little bit more realistic, we're gonna keep it in that circle. So anyway, we are going to do this. It's pretty simple. Um, I already went over our last, two our last lesson was about two point perspective when we drew a bunch of cubes. And so today we're just going to be doing that same idea, except now we're going to be carving some of that cube out. So we are going to put our horizon line. Oh, and what you need for this lesson, let me just move this cord. You need a piece of paper, a ruler, and something to draw with. I would recommend a pencil, but use whatever you have. And again, if you don't have a ruler, you know, you can kind of eyeball this too. All right, so let's go ahead and draw our horizon line on the top of our paper and try to make it as horizontal as you can. You could definitely use your ruler if you want it to be exact. And then one thing that's important is if we want this square, this cube, to look um, proportionate, we want it to be kind of in the middle of the two perspective points. So if we have one here, vanishing point, and one vanishing point here, so one here, one here, I'll just put a bigger X so you can see it. Then we wanna find the center. And since these are 10 inches apart, mine is five inches. So just kinda of use your ruler and find about the center. And that's where we want to draw our, our cube. So I'm going to line up with the middle of my horizon line up there. And I'm going to draw, remember we're doing two point perspective. So we're going to be drawing this edge right here. We're not drawing the front of it, like one point perspective, we're going to be drawing the edge. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, let's see how far below the line it needs to be. I'm just trying to measure on mine. It should be above five inches. So you don't want it to drop Think about like a circle being right here. And there's like, um, if we divided this up, 60% of it right here. So there'd be like 20% here, 20% here. That's kind of weird. The closer you get to the vanishing point, the stranger things look. And so we want to keep it closer to that. And so I'm just going to do it maybe five. Okay, so this is our first corner. And maybe we can even bring it up just a little bit more. Try not to draw as dark as me. I'm gonna be drawing dark just so you can see it. So this is our first corner. And just, if you wanna do the same measurements as me, you can. It doesn't really matter though. And I just basically did a three inch line from five inches to two inches below that line. Okay, that's, that's enough with measuring. Let's get uh, making these sides. So let's make the left side. And this is a little steep, actually. I would think it wouldn't be as steep as that, but it still is, oh well. This left side back, and let's bring this right side back to the right side. The same with that top edge. Since this is the same wall, we're gonna bring that edge back. And again, draw really lightly, so you don't need to erase a lot of your lines. And then let's go ahead and draw this edge. And I would try to keep these um, similar too, just for this practice. So you could measure this distance and make it this distance, but I'm just kind of looking at how much space I had over there. Trying to keep these lines all parallel to each other. And then remember the top, we just take the opposite side to the opposite side. So this right top corner to the left vanishing point this top left corner to the right vanishing point. And there we have our cube. So now we're gonna start carving this out. So we're gonna carve a block out right here, and then we're going to leave another square inside of this cube. And shading is really what makes this look right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to basically just carve this out right here. So I'm just gonna make a little line where I want to carve this piece out. And I'm kind of dividing it into thirds with my eye, so one, just like, Here's a third, one third, two thirds, three thirds. That's why I put my line right there. And then I'm just gonna bring a line back up to this side. 
and then back up to the right side on the right side. So this is now carved out and I actually wanna leave a little bit over here. So I'm going to draw a line that's parallel to these three lines here, meeting up with this line. So it kinda looks like this. I'll show you what it looks like. We're drawing this part right here. And let's do the same thing on this other side, keeping these lines parallel. And then we need to draw the top edge of that. Since we carved it out, we have to finish it. So it goes all the way through to the back of the cube. And I'll erase this line so it doesn't confuse us. We still want to keep these because these are the top corners, edges right here. Now we need to figure out where we want to draw this cube in here and we'll just draw the straight line for the top edge. And it could be as big as, we, as big as we want it to be. This doesn't really exist, but again, I'm gonna divide the space into three and then just put it right in the middle. And I do want it to line up. Let me try to line it up better with this bottom line. So use your ruler. So I'm just trying to put it smack in the middle of that area and then we're going to bring it back. Oh, actually, we forgot to do something. So we need to draw the bottom edge of this shape right here and the bottom edge of this shape right here. So we're going to bring this point here up to this right corner and then this edge right here up to the left corner. Cool, okay, now we know where to draw this to. I was gonna say this feels weird, okay. So we're going to draw this point up to this left vanishing point, this top corner also up to that left vanishing point, and then the bottom, this right side, we're gonna do the same thing except to the opposite corner. And we can see where it meets up with this edge right here, and that's where we need to draw a vertical line, trying to keep it parallel with all of these other vertical lines. And then to draw the top of this, we're just gonna take our ruler and in two point perspective, we take the top edges to the opposite corners, the opposite vanishing points, I should say. Oh, and I was hoping this would match up, but it doesn't. I thought it would match up so that this line right here would go straight up through the middle, but it doesn't. So, since it doesn't, and I'm not exactly sure why, and someone who's watching this and really good at perspective can probably tell us, it's probably because of where I put, where I ended that, maybe. Why would this be different? Let's try this, this goes to this corner, this goes to that corner. Well, these could meet. I think it's just, I drew these in a little different, so let's just, I'm just gonna put that. I'm smudging it a little bit, yes. If you can catch my error, tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> if not, then just keep on drawing with me and we'll just finish this. All right, so we've kind of carved out this shape. I'm going to erase all of these construction lines. Just cut them off before the shape so that it doesn't get confusing. And then let's add some shadows. So in this instant, instance, the light is coming from the top. So all of these pieces on the top, this piece, this piece, this piece, are gonna stay completely white. The darkest shadows are gonna be this right side, and then the medium shadows are going to be this back side right here. One, two, three. So we should have three dark areas, three white areas, and then three medium areas. So let's just start with the darkest area. I just wanted to shade it with you just because we haven't done much shading on these and I think it can help um, with perspective, especially when you're using cubes, to add some shadows. And I'm just kind of scrumbling this shadow in here. Hey, Spencer! Sorry. I need to edit the sound right there. So just darken up your lines, add the three shadows on the right. So 
So remember, this is all the right side. Your teachers probably were like, don't scribble. And then here I am, an art teacher, and I'm scribbling. You can shade a lot more delicately if you would like. All right, so that's our darkest shadow. Now we're going to add those medium shadows. And again, those medium shadows are gonna be on this left side. So I'm basically doing what I just did. I'm just not pressing as hard. So remember, there should be three areas. We have this area right here. And if I haven't, if you haven't learned um, shading yet, then I'm just not pressing as hard. And do you like my nice straight line? I gotta fix that. That's a terrible looking line. <laughs> Don't worry, I make mistakes all the time, so yeah, and I, I'm an art teacher, so if you make mistakes, don't even worry about it. Okay, let's just add some shading on this left side. And while we're doing this, I just kind of want you to think about cutting into a cube and creating a new shape out of it. Because what I want you to do for your assignment is to draw a cube, and it could be above, it could be on, it could be wherever you want it to be. But I want you to draw it in two-point perspective, and then I want you to start carving parts out of it. Um, you need to carve three parts out. So for example, what if you wanted to carve out like a little wall right here and bring it down? Or what if you wanted to carve out a, a hole in this, a little tunnel, or maybe just you wanted to cut um, this whole piece off, you know? What would that look like? So anyway, those are some ideas. Um, I hope this was helpful for you to learn just how to kind of carve into a cube. I didn't really know how to title this one, but basically it's just um, carving, I don't even know, cube carving, something like that. Um, here's an example I saw on Pinterest that was really cool, check that out. I mean, this is a bunch of different things, but look how they've arranged those shadows. I thought this was so cool. It might be kind of cool to do like a cube stacking, and maybe I'll try that next. Why not? Okay, good luck, and um, we'll see you later this week for more two-point perspective tutorials. Have a wonderful day.